Today I am in southern France looking for mantises, praying mantises, the order of mantidia. There are several species of mantises that live here. Uh, I've had some luck finding them here before, so hopefully that'll be the same way today. There's a female European mantis, mantis religiosa, sitting right here. Yo. Look at how spiky this bush is. It's gonna be the worst getting this thing out. I need a piece of grass or a stick. Here we go. There you are. Well, here is the mantis. Just a normal female European mantis. This is one of the most well-known in the world, along with the Chinese mantis. Nothing too special going on here. And it's off. This right here is a conehead mantis. Please come here. There you have it. Empusa pinata. That's the scientific name. And this one is not full grown. It doesn't have its buds yet. It's, it's wing buds. But it'll grow more than twice this size. This little mantis looks fairly well camouflaged for whatever plant this is down here. So let's put it in that. Really have to look carefully when passing all these bushes and various plants because most of the time the insects that are hiding out are really quite camouflaged actually. Meanwhile, the opposite of camouflage, possibly aposematic colors, a little moth, one that's actually active during the daytime. Look at what we have down in this bush right here. Iris oratoria, the Mediterranean mantis. Got it. This is one of the more common mantises here, but despite this, it's only the second one I've ever seen in my times in France. Back in California, these are actually an invasive species, and I've never seen any females like this one, but I have seen a few uh, males around California. Much like Mantis religiosa, the European mantis, the Mediterranean mantis on its internal surfaces of the coccyx has white spots on a blue surface, except this mantis is missing the proximal larger blue spots with the white interior. So it looks like unfortunately with this mantis, we're not gonna get the threat display that they're very well known for, but I will try as carefully as I can to open up the wings and show you what the, uh, the pattern looks like. I'm holding it just a tad bit open. So you can see there, that's the pattern, yellow and black and, and, and orange. And oftentimes it'll, it'll vary as well. And the uh, colors will be more striking. But you'll also notice that it's iridescent in the black area. When these put their threat display up, what they'll do is they'll extend their wings to show the pattern and they will put their arms up and they will puff up their abdomen. This mantis can go back onto its bush. Here you have mantis food. A lot of what mantises feed on out here are these little stone grasshoppers. Um, this one has reddish orange wings, but I'll try to find another one that has blue wings. They're a bit more common. Here's one of those blue winged grasshoppers I was talking about. And uh, typically, Whatever color their wings are, their hind legs will also be the same color. Just found our next mantis species in my hand here. This is a Geomantis larvoides, or the larval ground mantis, I believe. And this one is an adult, believe it or not. They don't get much larger than this at all. I'm not going to record any more of these that I find. They just never stop moving. So, oh, it just topped off. It's in the bush there now. So in addition to Geomantis larvoides, the mantis we just saw, there's actually a second species of mantis that dwells very close to the ground, and that is Amelia's decolor, um, the gray mantis. And it should be quite straightforward to find as long as they look in low-lying bushes. One more conehead mantis down here. They all seem to be the same size, more or less all around the size. Very strange. Really wish I could find an adult. One more conehead mantis right here. They seem to be quite common in this area, which is quite unexpected actually. Here's the diurnal moth I showed you, actually active during the day. There's three here, a couple there, and one here. Not at all camouflaged. This is an adult European mantis. 
There we go. Oh. Come back. All right. Managed to get it to stay still. And you'll notice that this mantis is almost the exact same color as the Iris oratoria I showed you, the Mediterranean mantis. It's kind of funny because despite being two completely different species, um, the two colors they'll generally appear as are pretty much the exact same. The shade of green and the shade of brown are pretty much the same. Letting this one back on its plant here. Do you see what I see? Of course not. I'm too far away. Right here is a conehead mantis, Empusa pinata. Still no adults, of course. Here it is, my favorite mantis, and by good margin, from the area. From all of France, actually. I should make that clear. See that right there? That is the Amelie's decolor mantis that we're looking for. Staying still as to not be seen. As soon as I try to catch it, of course, it senses that it's been spotted and now it's running away, obviously. And I'm gonna do my best to avoid hurting it because it is quite a fragile species since it's so small and thin. All right, let's try that again. As long as I get close enough and don't make any sudden movements, I should be able to get it. There we go. There you have it. And this species, and ah, damn it. It really feels as though I'm dealing with a geomantis here, the way that this thing just won't stop moving. I think I have finally gotten it to stay still for real this time. So here we have it. This is actually an adult, by the way, an adult Amelie's decolor. And along with Geomantis larvoides, these are the two smallest species we have in France. I am provoking a defensive posture. There you go. And uh, there you have the small orange wings. And like many mantises do, this one is puffing its abdomen because it's defensive. And I'd also like to point out that we really aren't that far from the uh, Impusa pinata that I found. It's right over there. It's so difficult to deal with a lot of these mantises. They tend to just jump away at every opportunity they get. Come here. There, yeah, come back. Where'd you go? This guy was just hopping around and I was chasing it, as you just saw. It looks like right next to it, there's another one of these conehead mantises. You know, a bit common in this area. Oh yeah, and right next to these two, right, one right there, one right there. It looks like there's another one hanging out somewhere in here. Hold on, I gotta locate it again. There it is. You can see there's another conehead mantis right here. So we have a conehead mantis here, one there, and one there. And this is a color form I've never seen before. One that's a brown. Very cool. Gray is typically the color I see. Look at the variation in each of these. This one's a light gray. Then we have that brown one that I talked about, the one I've never seen before. And then we have a dark gray. Really cool. I'm not entirely certain if this species is cannibalistic or not. So I'm going to release them on different plants. That one can go there. I can put one right here. And I can put one right here. Not really sure which species of grasshopper this is right here, but it's really large. So I'm gonna see if I can catch it. Got it. Look at the legs here. What an awesome combination of orange and uh, like violet or periwinkle, something like that. That's really cool. Now that I have this grasshopper here, which I should add is really fuzzy. Look at all that fuzz. I can feel it too. It's a very soft grasshopper. Anyway, um, now that I have it, I'm going to try to do a slow motion of its flight. That's really all I'm going to try with this grasshopper. You can see it's in the bush now. Don't really want to give it a heart attack, so I'm going to leave it alone now. One more Iris oratoria here, Mediterranean mantis. And as I'd mentioned, it's green. Hold on, I gotta go fetch it. Here's our green Iris oratoria. And I do appreciate that this individual was found on a green plant because the other one, of course, the brown one, was found on a uh, brown plant. Not much else to say about this mantis, so you can go back. Leave me. 
one. There you go. Look at this butterfly that just landed next to me. So pretty. A European mitis. Come here. The European mitis is actually invasive in a lot of areas of the United States because it's quite adaptable. But the Mediterranean mitis is um, exclusively invasive to western parts of the United States because the climate is a lot like it is in the Mediterranean. Looks like this one got attacked by something. It got bitten on the on the wing covers there. Here we have another Amelia's decolor or gray mantis, an adult female. You can see because it has its wing buds that it is mature. And instead of walking normally, this species often hops like a little cricket. And when it's normally just walking around, it doesn't do this. It only does this when it's being pursued. So there's actually a six species of mantis that lives out here, Amelia spallanzia. And I found it many times before in the past, but in spite of everything I've learned, I'm unable to find it today for some reason. Another little conehead mantis down here. This one's really jumpy. Well, I'll probably leave it be. It's quite small, so maybe kind of fragile. Another European mantis here. Oh, please focus. Bruh. There you go. Always nice to see a species from back home that's invasive in its native range here. There is an Amelia's decolor hopping around the ground here. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Let's see if I can catch it. These like never stop moving, almost like Geomantis, but like the other two, I'm confident that I can catch this one. Managed to catch it. This species also lives in North Africa, by the way, since it has quite a similar climate to where we are here. Now this is truly something special. This is so damn cool. This must be the coolest mantis I've ever seen in France. Here we have a conehead mantis, but as you can tell, it's pink. That's awesome. It's like our own version of like, I don't know, the orchid mantis. I have taken the mantis from the thistle. I'm just quickly gonna put it on this plant right here or somewhere near here because I'd like some good contrast. What are you doing? There's literally nothing that could top finding this mantis, except for an adult that's also pink. So quite happy to have found this, especially since I'm like pretty much about to leave at this point. It's getting a bit late. I just put it on this plant to take some photos and um, some videos. But since it's pink and doesn't really camouflage on green, I don't want it to get eaten. So I'll put it back on its thistle where I found it. Here you go, back on your thistle. Oh, it's pushing me away. So sad. I'm being rejected. Well, that will be all for this video of looking for mantises. So, thank you for watching.